Palpatine protection. Mm. Um, you know, millions of fans all around the world. Black hypocrisy, I mean, 2.8 million views within a couple of days and so on. Is that something that should be beneath you at this point? It should be beneath me, but I mean, what can I do? It came up and it happened, and I still don't believe that it will damage my brand. Um, a lot of people will say, um, you know, an artist of your caliber should not have gone there. But, uh, but, but I'm human first, and that's what I want people to realize. I'm human before an artist, I'm human first, and like I said, I've had enough, and I believe that that particular media has been fighting me over the years. The true and real authentic people have seen me done interviews before. I've been applauded for my interviews and the way I articulate myself, and so they know that that specific moment, it had to be something, because I'm one of the, the artists that, you know, travel outside of Jamaica and do all these wonderful interviews with everyone, and they haven't seen me in that way. That, that's my first. I've been in the business for 20 years, and that's my first. I think that alone can say to everybody what led me to that. I don't think I need to elaborate and talk continuously. The smart people, the educated ones, it, it's clear. 20 years, that has never happened in my entire career. You mentioned a little bit earlier that you're your own manager now. Is there a specific reason you're taking that route? You know, it's difficult to find someone to manage me with the creative mind that I have. And, just, you know, I'm very, I'm a hard worker. I'm a workaholic. I keep going. So for me to have a manager that I have to be managing and paying them to do absolutely nothing, it makes no sense for me. I, you know, I, it's, it's going to be hard for me to find somebody who is working twice as hard as I am. And, I, you know, it's you, hard you, you don't have a very, You don't have a very good view of what <laughs> managers do then. <laughs> I do, but they're not doing the job. I'm here to do everything for them and then turn around and pay them. <laughs> and one of the reasons I asked is that I was talking to somebody on the program Friday about that, that, that particular incident and they said if there had been a manager there or, or somebody like that, they would have stopped the interview, they would have said, hold on, let's not go any further with this and that this is one of the consequences when you don't have that professional team around you. Do you agree? Um, you know what, I don't agree because even, even if my manager was there, my manager... I'm, 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 I'm the one that's taking on the burden and the anger inside of me of my own self. But even if a manager was there, I would, I would still have been the anger person I was towards Naro, seeing him in person for the first time. I would have been the same person, whether my manager was there or not. All right, and just before I leave that, you know, I don't know if you know, he's, they put out a response in which they've spliced each of your comments with... With, with a counter, so for instance, you saying them to talk about other people, they splice that with a clip of them talking about Aishana, they put in clips with them saying Spice is the queen of dance hall, are you supposed to end the show them and so on and so forth. Does that make a difference? It does not make a difference because, um, once again, another black hypocrisy, now they want to play the victim. Why don't they make it and splice it and put all the bad things that they've me, including trying to find out my sexual life and all of that. That's what they need to splice and put together. All of a sudden, they're playing the victim. I don't even want to see it. All right. Um, before I let you go, you recently had the launch for your mixtape. No, you mentioned and it, it was a huge success. May I had it was a huge success, and I also want to thank all the media houses for coming out. And Cara Wilson, I don't know how I'm going to ever thank her, and you know, Melia and Melio and all the other people that you know made it possible for me. Extreme Art, all of them, so many people to thank. It was a very good event. Is it though, Spice, that you view media in terms of those who are for you and those who are against you? And I'm saying this again, having listened to that no. interview you did, and, and even your comments just now about the people who you say have been denigrating you. Is it that unless a media host or a media personality is in your corner, quote unquote, that you're going to see them as being against you? I don't think you should have even asked me that question because, I mean, I'm sure you've read the Glee now, you've read the Star before, you've watched on stage, ER, I should, the list goes on. They've never always been in my corner. There's always been good and bad reviews about me, spies, in Jamaica. A lot of people know that. They read the good, they read the bad. They know that. So whether people want to play hypocrite, I'll be hypocritical with the fact that all the media houses is not in my corner. No, they are not. They do bring good reviews about Spice, and they do bring bad reviews about me all the time. But I repeatedly say that the six constantly talk about the bad about me every single night on their program, and they bring me up every night, even when it has absolutely nothing to do with me. And Dion, 
I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of your program. And if every week you come out on your program and you're chat by me, I'm not going to like you neither. And that's the straight up truth. Uh, so you're not telling me about my mother too? If you reach the point where you're downgrading me and degrading me and constant disrespecting me as a mother and devaluing who I am. Because what a lot of people don't realize, Nara has never left Jamaican soil to go and represent the culture or do anything for dance or music. I, Grace Hamilton, does that every single week. I do two to three shows and I'm bringing the culture to somewhere. And when somebody go on YouTube and type Spice, whether they were a fan or not, or they're going to become a fan, nightly fix is what is going to come up with Nara degrading me and downplaying me for who I am and fighting for what I have right now. So I don't know how clear I can get. Um, love and hip hop, I just want to ask you about that briefly before you leave us as well. You're now in an environment in a country in which racism, not just colorism, but racism is said to be rife as well. What's What's been your experience? You know, it's sad to say I've never experienced racism um, on the Love and Hip Hop franchise. And it also goes back to, you know, getting me depressed as to my own people that is fighting me. Um, it's just colorism that's happening, that is fighting me right now. I'm not, you know, I'm not in any way or form experience any form of racism. And that is what makes the situation sad. All right. I'm just looking at a lot of the comments that are coming in and people are saying we really would have wanted to hear you apologize. Um, we, um, they think you, um, well, just a number of comments along that, those lines. What, what do you right. say to your and fans who feel actually genuinely hurt by this? Who said, no, man, this, this is beneath you. Shouldn't it go there? And having gone there, you should apologize now. You know what? To my fans, because I'm not even going to say to the hypocrites, I want to say to my fans, if I have offended them, and, you know, you know, if they've made a loss, like, with them, what I say, them lose off of me, then, you know, I'm sorry that I offended them. But once again, I'm not sorry for my behavior. I feel better that I was able to look at a man and tell him how I feel and to make him feel how oh, I have oh, felt for two years. I just disrespected Nardo one time. He has been disrespecting me for two years. I'm human. And I'm sorry that they may feel disappointed. But once again, I am not sorry. And I'm very sorry that I'm not sorry, but I'm not. Do you, I'm not. Okay, what next? What are you doing next? What's next on the... I'm promoting my mixtape. Captured is doing extremely well. Man, the fact that I should have spoken that he, um, the Captured mixtape, it went number one on iTunes and um, Bob Marley was in the number one spot and he has been there for a while. So I feel good. I feel proud of myself. Um, when I went to make a screenshot of Captured and I said that it took Bob Marley out of the number one spot, that is something for talk about. I feel good. I feel proud of myself. I'm working and that's what I'm promoting right now. The Captured mixtape is doing extremely well. Um, it's the number, it's the third most selling album on iTunes right now, reggae album, I should say. You know, it went number one in the iTunes chart in the USA, reggae chart, went number one in the UK. It's doing extremely well, and I have a good project, and that's what I'm focusing on right now. And I still want to say we got my team and everybody who is helping me behind the scenes to push this project. So that's really what my focus is on, Capture Mixtape. All right. Um... All right, just about out of time for this. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much. Very much appreciate your time. Thank you so much for having me. All right, talking with Spice there, listeners, Grace Hamilton, talking to us about a range of issues, including her song, colorism, racism, and her recent interview. And let me just say, as I said, I hadn't heard of Nightly Fix before all of this, or the host, but... I will be certainly willing to give them a little time on to respond to the concerns and to say, talk a little bit about their side of the issue. So we certainly will. All right, let me just share a couple of your concerns or your comments. We have Sharmanique says, why did she take up herself and go to the interview? If it was any other media personnel, she'd do it. Doing me my way says the message was felt, but the mindset has yet to be changed. More needs to be done. Maybe other influencers need to follow suit with something drastic. Their own spice never clue how business works. She's allowing her emotions to get the better of her. I 
thought the business part would have been paramount, but what do I know? All right, let me see. I have a couple minutes to the break, so let me just start my next segment, which is to talk about coffee. And yes, I'm seeing a lot of your comments coming in. I'll continue to share them. But let me bring on Lenworth Fulton, who is president of the Jamaica Agricultural Society, also Merlin Walker, coffee farmer from Mavis Bank. Thank you both so much. We appreciate you talking to us. Hearing me, Mr. Fulton, Ms. Walker. Okay. Bank. I'm living in Westphalia. Westphalia isn't in Mavis Bank? No, that's the, Mavis Bank is the adjoining district. All right. Thank you so much for the correction. I appreciate the error. I, I, <laughs> <Yeah>. I, <laughs> I regret the error is what I was trying to say. All right. Good to have you both on. This is something we've been doing for a little while now. Concerns about from coffee farmers in relation to the price of coffee. When you look at it. This is the style. Yes, this is the style. Help a time. I tell you. This is the style. Hear me now. It's all about help a time. Keep it locked. Spice it up. Mm-hmm. The boy a catch me pan the corner pan me head All him a send it me a ball me out for dead The boy a beat it like a hammer pan the lead The way he me tear the sheet up on the bed Under fire me wool under fire 